In this session on styles and themes, we're going to look at how we can stop our dependence on the font palette in favour of the styles palette. And there is a good reason for that. With the font palette, they are one-off changes to one particular word or paragraph or whatever you have chosen with your selector. Whereas styles, once embedded in the document, can be changed by use of the Design Tabs Themes palette. And you'll find that you'll have a whole range of alternatives to switch the view of your document into different layouts at a few seconds notice, and you can redesign that document. So, um, let's start by investigating what the styles palette does and to begin with whenever you open a blank document you're going to see that the text that you type is using the normal style so if I click anywhere in my text right now with this fresh document you'll see that this doesn't change it's all normal text style if I right click the normal button there and take a look at modify it will show us all of the elements that we can change within that style and yes we've called it normal the style type is paragraph based style type and it's based on no particular style at all the style for following paragraphs will be normal so the moment we press enter will be still with the same normal style. And we have a preview. Uh, we can see that the formatting was set at Calibri body at 11 point, not bold, italics or underline, and the text color is automatic, which usually means black to begin with. It's left aligned, and if I cancel out of this now, I'm going to switch some of this text to a different style. Heading 1, for example, one of the most useful styles in the palette there. Heading 1 um, is by default uh, slightly larger and blue. And were we to investigate by right clicking Heading 1, modify, we will see that, that is set at 16 point and it's Calibri Light. Color is blue. So we have a name at the top there, and it's based on the normal style. Were we to press enter, it would give us in the following paragraph, normal, not heading one. So let me come out of this as well. I'll do another heading, and watch the gap close, by the way, between the heading and the body text below it. Okay, so as soon as we press enter, it would give us normal style for the next line. So why do we bother to do this? Well, let's move away from styles for the moment and take a look at the design tab. Right now we're using a theme and it's the basic office theme which gives us a selection of document formatting just here. Um, these designs will allow us to change the look and they will look for certain elements like heading styles and normal styles and they'll change them throughout the entire document. Even if we have a thousand pages here we can change every header and every body text simply by clicking on the buttons here. So I could make it a nice green header. I could have a line introduced with this one which is known as black and white numbered. So I might want that if I want to refer people to heading one about the video. I can have that number one automatically appear. So too the line underneath. That's all part of that particular design theme. 
Uh, we could have centered headers and so on. Now that's not the only fruit, so to speak, and um, if we have a look under the themes drop down, you'll see that we have some very avant-garde kind of styles uh, available. So, for example, this, this set here, known as, known as Banded, uh, gives us a lot more different styles to choose from. So, nice bright orange. We could have it centered again. Many of them choose the same type of layout, but give different colors, different texts, uh, fonts rather, and um, certain different styles. Do take a look at the full palette. And we'll change one more. Let's go to Berlin. 